In English football history, Terence Venables, known affectionately as El Tell, carved a unique place for himself. However, Venables' career was not without its controversies. Known for his wheeler-dealer approach, he often found himself at the center of allegations regarding his business dealings. These controversies added a layer of complexity to his public image, painting him as a figure who navigated the intricate web of football politics and business with a bold, if sometimes contentious, approach. His family confirmed some tragic moments before he recently died of a long illness. He was born on January 6, 1943, in Dagenham, Essex. His early years were shaped in a family passionate about the sport, with his father being a Navy petty officer and his mother hailing from Welsh footballing roots. His journey from Romford, where he moved at 13, to the heights of international football, was fueled by a deep love for the game fostered by his grandparents. Venable's talent was evident early on, as he attracted attention from top clubs like Chelsea, Tottenham Hotspur, and Manchester United, eventually signing with Chelsea at 15. He debuted for Chelsea in 1960 and quickly established himself as a prodigious talent. His time at Chelsea was marked by highs, such as winning the FA Youth Cup twice, and lows, like the curfew-breaking incident that led to a suspension by manager Tommy Docherty. This event, which he described as crass, stupid, and self-defeating, strained his relationship with Docherty, eventually leading to his transfer in 1966 to Tottenham Hotspur for £80,000. At Spurs, Venable's talent flourished. He played a key role in their 1967 FA Cup victory, but faced challenges, particularly with manager Bill Nicholson and the Spurs fans. His move to Queen's Park Rangers in 1969 marked a turning point, with Venables stating that it changed his life. At Queen's Park Rangers, he transitioned into a coaching role, showcasing his tactical acumen and leadership skills. However, it was his managerial career that truly set Venables apart. Starting at Crystal Palace, he led the team to the second division championship in 1979. His time with Queen's Park Rangers was marked by an FA Cup final appearance and a second division win. His success caught the eye of Barcelona, where he won La Liga in 1985 and reached the European Cup final in 1986. Venable's tactical style, modern and innovative, was a stark contrast to the rigid tactics then prevalent in English football. Returning to England, he managed Tottenham Hotspur to an FA Cup win in 1991. His tenure as England's national team manager from 1994 to 1996 was a high point, leading the team to the semi-finals of the 1996 European Championships. His rapport with the squad was exceptional, and his tactical acumen was widely praised. However, Venable's life was not without its challenges. The controversies surrounding his business dealings, including a high court disqualification from acting as a company director, painted a complex picture of a man navigating the highs and lows of public life. Terry Venables was a man whose ambition and creativity extended far beyond the football pitch. A dynamic individual, he dabbled in various ventures, including writing, singing, and owning a nightclub. His sharp intellect and self-belief often drew him towards the boardroom, though his true brilliance shone on the training ground and in the dugout. His diverse interests made him a fitting figure for international management, yet these same qualities sometimes clashed with the expectations of the Football Association. Venable's departure from England's management marked the end of a chapter that saw him nearly make history. He later led Australia to the cusp of World Cup qualification and helped Middlesbrough avoid relegation, but his subsequent stints with Crystal Palace, Leeds, and as England's assistant coach were less remarkable. Despite only two caps under Alf Ramsey, Venables left a lasting impact on English football, from Gaza's unforgettable goal against Scotland to the demolition of the Netherlands in Euro 96. His legacy, characterized by a blend of hope and indelible memories, ensures that Venable's unique approach to football management will be remembered fondly for years to come. Tragically, Venable's last years were marred by health challenges, including a severe form of dementia. His death on November 25, 2023, at the age of 80, following a long illness, marked the end of an era. He left behind a legacy that transcends his on-field accomplishments, a legacy of resilience, innovation, and a deep-seated love for football. The tributes at Tottenham Hotspur including the wearing of black armbands and a minute's applause, are a testament to the profound impact he had on the game and its followers. Terry Venables was not just a football player or a manager. He was an icon, a trailblazer who changed the game with his modern tactics and deep understanding of football. His story is one of triumph, adversity, and an unquenchable passion for the beautiful game. 
Venable's career was a journey through different facets of football, each marked by his distinctive approach and deep understanding of the game. After his playing days, his transition to management saw him imbuing teams with his tactical philosophy, blending traditional English resilience with innovative strategies. His stint at Barcelona, marked by the moniker El Tel, was particularly notable for adapting his style to the demands of European football, a testament to his versatility and tactical acumen. In England, his leadership of the national team during Euro 1996 saw him bring a fresh perspective to a side often criticized for its predictable style. His ability to form strong personal relationships with players, combined with his tactical flexibility, brought England close to glory, leaving an indelible mark on the team's history. Off the field, Venable's life was as vibrant and varied as his career. His foray into business and literature, although mixed, showed a man unafraid to explore new avenues. His novels, written with Gordon Williams, reflected his creative side, while his involvement in football punditry showcased his deep insight into the game. Beyond the football pitch, Terry Venables harbored a deep-seated love for dancing, a passion instilled in him by his mother Myrtle in their modest home in Dagenham. This love for rhythm and movement stayed with Venables throughout his life. Unfortunately, in his early 70s, a hip problem prevented him from fulfilling a dream to appear on the popular television show Strictly Come Dancing, a regret he carried and often reflected upon while watching the show with his wife, Yvette. Venables' approach to life was as unique as his football tactics. In an interview, he expressed his wishes for his passing, a swift cremation without the traditional funeral proceedings, followed by a celebration of his life later on. This desire underscored his unconventional and forward-thinking nature. Despite his renown in football, Venables treasured simple joys and personal connections. His most cherished possession was his wedding ring, originally his mother's, resized to fit him by Yvette. This ring symbolized the connection between the two most significant women in his life. Venables hoped to be remembered as kind, loyal, and humorous, believing that everyone possesses a unique talent, academic or otherwise. His life, marked by highs and lows, was a testament to this belief. The saddest moment in Venable's life was the death of his father, Fred, in 1988. He deeply felt this loss, reminiscing about his father often. In his final years, Venables enjoyed a quieter life, running a hotel in Spain with Yvette, staying close to his daughters from his first marriage. His influence on football, marked by innovative tactics and a compassionate approach to management, remains a significant part of his legacy. Players like Gareth Southgate and Gary Lineker remember him not only as an outstanding coach, but also as a person who brought innovation and heart to the game. Terry Venables' journey through life and football was rich and multifaceted. From his early days in Essex to his innovative tactics on the football field and his personal passions beyond the sport, Venables lived a life full of ambition, creativity, and warmth. His story is not just one of football success, but of a man who embraced all aspects of life with enthusiasm and determination. Venable's death brought an outpouring of tributes, reflecting the widespread respect he commanded across the football world. His innovative tactics, charismatic personality, and the sheer breadth of his contributions to the sport have left an enduring legacy. From the coal mining town of Ashington to the pinnacle of international football, Terry Venable's journey was one of extraordinary achievements, personal trials, and an unwavering dedication to the game he loved. As we remember Terry Venables, we're reminded that his influence on football goes beyond trophies and titles. His innovative approach to tactics, his ability to inspire teams, and his contribution to football culture resonate far beyond the confines of the pitch. Venables' story is not just about football. It's about the spirit of innovation, resilience, and the enduring power of passion. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations in the world of football and beyond.